Hello, this is Steph. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we're going to see how to uh, execute the programs that are in uh, the, let's say, the most famous tutorial about uh, FMPEG. Uh, this is the dranger.com tutorial. And uh, maybe you heard of it. And this is a tutorial that uh, now it's old. So the thing that we're going to use uh, is something that is a bit more updated. So there are several updates, but uh, none of them were up to the latest version. So we're going to use uh, one that I uh, made myself and I'm going to improve it from time to time. So we, I made the first examples and uh, later with a bit of time, uh, we're going to get updated with all the things that uh, um, in uh, all the steps. So we're going from very simple things into building something that is similar to FFplay. So FFplay is the uh, tool that is available in the FMPEG suite that is uh, uh, able to play the videos. So we're going to do something like that. We're going to see the same libraries that FM, FFplay uses for uh, the compilation of this uh, uh, program. And uh, in this video, we're going to see how to execute the tutorial using uh, Visual Studio Code on our Linux system. And uh, then later in uh, several other videos, we're going to see one by one all the things that are going on uh, to play, um, to get to this FF play, uh, rocking and rolling. So for the moment, thank you very much for all your support and your things. So uh, the videos are a bit uh, uh, delayed because of these uh, uh, troubles that I had uh, with um, uh, the uh, compilation and the, the uh, setting of all this guide. But uh, I thank you very much for your support. If you didn't do it, please like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the next videos I'll be releasing. And now there's a uh, Ubuntu behind, the, the old Ubuntu that we used uh, the first times. Now uh, we're going to use it again because, uh, first of all, it's a long time that uh, we didn't use uh, uh, Linux. So the people who are using Linux on a daily basis are happy. Uh, I'm happy too because I'm a Linux enthusiast also. And uh, um, also this configuration is a bit easier on Linux system. So enough talk. Let's go. Let's get started. Okay, here we are, and uh, the guide I'm talking about is this. So, an FMPEG and SDL tutorial, or how to write a video player in less than 1,000 lines of code. And uh, it says that uh, this tutorial is up to date as of February 2015, but... Uh, so, if you take a look at uh, the guides, these are pretty... So before we're going to see them in uh, one of the next videos one by one and uh, if you pay attention at the code so this is uh, the original um, uh, tutorial but the updated version is uh, available on uh, github uh, on github uh, you have if you're going to my repositories i've uh, cloned one of them and uh, So right here, let me increase the size. You will see that uh, there are all the tutorials. I'm updating them uh, little by little. So it takes uh, a while because uh, as you can see, uh, these are uh, pretty old. And uh, uh, some of them are, were updated, but not so much. So now we're going to see um, little by little how to update them. And uh, this is uh, the uh, repository I'm going to put in the video description uh, later on. So at the moment, uh, what uh, is enough is uh, to clone the repository, or if you want, fork and then uh, apply your contributions. I will appreciate that if you do it. And uh, um, then we are going to um, configure the FMPEG compiling and uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay, so first of all, we're going to see how to compile uh, FMPEG. This is nothing new. Uh, so this is something we saw both in the 
the, my first video actually uh, that I uh, uploaded on YouTube and uh, also there is the script that is uh, available here so let's see it through uh, vim fmpeg compile okay here we go and uh, this is the uh, these are the comments so first of all the installation of and the necessary material um, included uh, libsdl2 so all the tutorials uh, that are um, available uh, so the Dranger tutorial that we saw before uh, used libsdl1 or 1.2 this is the most recent version one of libsdl in this case we're going to use libsdl2 uh, and uh, the tutorial is updated as well so uh, all the comments are available here maybe the only thing that we need to do is uh, to take a look here and uh, uncomment this make install so this will make sure that uh, uh, all the executables and all the libraries are in the correct folder so respectively we have uh, in the fmpeg build we got bin include lib uh, share well it's not so um, necessary so here you can compile both in the static way and uh, in the dynamic way so the uh, the important thing is that you have uh, the libraries uh, ready here in the uh, libpkg then after you run the program i've already done it so it takes a lot a lot of time we i also made uh, the video upon this and um I think that you need to do is to update the dot bash uh, rc that is uh, the um these are the comments that are run every time you run a shell in as a, your user in the machine so if you open it so cat well let's use vim again dot bash rc in the end make sure there is this last comment so export pkg config path home fmpeg build pkg config and uh, use uh, the previous pkg config path because with this uh, you are um, making the system aware there is this pkg config so you can use it later in visual studio code and once you are compiling using the make file so uh, there is a make file so if you run make and uh, the program you would like everything will be uh, compiled as it should and uh, um, i think that's it we are ready to go to visual studio code okay so here we are we are uh, on visual studio code and uh, here we have several choices here already loaded uh, thing myself but uh, if you want to uh, clone the git repository it's something that you can do you can do it via the command line so as soon as we open visual studio code we open a folder there is a terminal ready so we can get git clone and uh, the url of the repository but uh, uh, in this case uh, we can use the clone repository that is available there and uh, it's fine so you this is what you have in front as soon as uh, you open the folder there is something that is missing though for a very um, clean uh, installation a very clean uh, compiling and uh, clean execution and uh, debugging okay so now make sure that you have the following things so first of all you need to have uh, the ccpp properties.json if you don't want to create a new file uh, you can right click on any of the c files and go to common palette and here you can add the configuration using the json file so here it goes directly to this uh, to this folder so here in the you need uh, so the thing that uh, the only thing you need to be to do on this file is to add uh, this uh, thing right here so you will avoid uh, visual studio code to get angry at the error said ah oh, no i cannot find uh, the include i cannot find uh, the libraries i cannot find this i cannot find that with this you will avoid uh, any errors happening here so here you see that the code is clean no uh, 
error whatsoever. The other thing that you need to do is uh, to set up a uh, launch.json. Here you can do it by using run and debug. And uh, right here, so now I already have it, but uh, you have uh, the um, button that says uh, run and debug. You lets you create a new launch.json file. And here, what you need to do is to put uh, the things in this way. So you have a workspace folder, bin, filebase, no extension dot out. So this will tell run the application with this file name without the extension dot out. In fact, uh, the executable will be in the this bin folder I've created uh, uh, before. Now we'll show you later how to create uh, the files. And then uh, uh, you have uh, inside uh, the applications already been uh, uh, compiled by me, but later I will show you how to compile it. You have uh, the tutorial 01 dot out uh, in this case, because it's tutorial 01 at the moment, uh, only this is running. Then little by little, all the other will be, will be running. And uh, for the rest, everything remains unchanged. So nothing, ah, yes. Another thing is uh, the args. These are the common line arguments you want to put later. Since this uh, uh, file uh, requires uh, a file, so it requires a video file to be uh, uh, loaded, I put uh, this uh, bigbugbunny.mkv. If you want to put something else, you can. Uh, this is uh, when you go here, and then uh, you run using GDB launch. In this case, uh, it will go using uh, GDB, so the uh, debugger, as it is uh, by default. If you want, you can execute the application also inside uh, the command line. This is to debug if you want to put breakpoints, if you want to get through, as uh, we did in another video that I'll put here somewhere. Okay. The other thing that we need to do is uh, to set a setting.json so it will tell uh, which are the configurations for this project. So we don't need any binary args. In this case, uh, um, we need to set uh, the binary path that is a uh, home, uh, uh, so your home folder, fmbac tutorial being tutorial 01. And uh, last but not least, we got to set up the tasks.json uh, with this configuration, in particular, this thing. So file dear name, uh, file base, uh, no extension as an uh, argument. And then after this, what you need to do is uh, once you have the extension make file tools, so here if you search make file tools, and you have it right here, make file tools. What you need to do is uh, to install it. Once you install it, you have this icon. Once you have this icon, you can go here and you can set up your configuration. So as uh, the first time, the thing that I suggest is uh, to get either dears, so it will create the directories or click all. So it will crash uh, as soon as <laughs> the first tutorial it doesn't work crashes but at least it creates all the, uh, the directories uh, so if you click dears it will create the directories then the launch target will be the tutorial file you would like uh, to generate and then uh, as a make file you will get uh, the Well, this is the settings path, so um, go directly there, but everything is set correctly as it should be, so nothing to worry there. So once you click this button that uh, runs the current target, everything will be uh, compiled. So let me try with uh, the all thing. So. Okay, so we are going to make everything. So here 
will get angry because uh, there is uh, the second tutorial that uh, um, is not working properly. I've got to correct it. Uh, we'll correct it uh, soon. The first is working fine, so it's going to be uh, compiled. To get uh, the project running, and uh, if you want to debug, so a thing that you can do is to go directly into run and debug, and then uh, make sure you are selecting the uh, source that you are um, looking at, and then run right here. Don't use this because uh, it is uh, uh, not working properly. Then now it's running. So here, the first thing we're going to see later that it generated the, the result correctly. And uh, it's fine. So we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we finish with the, the configuration of uh, uh, Visual Studio. We are ready to execute the programs. We are ready to uh, work with the examples that we uh, have uh, uh, with ourselves. And um, what we need to do now is the, to take a look at the single files one by one. And uh, uh, so we can understand fully what does FMPEG do to execute, to play our videos, uh, our multimedia streams. So this is a very useful guide, a, bit, a little bit dated. So for me, it takes a while to update all the uh, instructions. There are other modern ones around, but uh, I guess this is a good tutorial to see in a very simple way, even with some mistakes, I got to say, but uh, um, it's a good way to see um, how the program works. So thank you very much for reaching out uh, to this point. If you didn't do it, please like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the next, the next videos I'll be releasing for the moment. Uh, I uh, will greet you, thank you very much, and see you next time with other videos related to multimedia, but also much, much, much more. Ciao, ciao.